right, let's get the best man. Big round of applause for the best man. Hello, hello. Uh, thank you all for coming. For those who don't know me, my name's Kyle. Um, I'm Rob's best man. Pretty loud. That's all right. Mic check, mic check. Everybody listening? All right, let's give a round of applause for the best man in the speech. All right. Take it over here. Hey, this, uh, in classic Rob fashion, um, I had about two days notice for this, so this will be brief. Um, but I just want to thank everybody for coming to celebrate these two. I've known them for a long time, and uh, I love them both. Um, and anybody who can sit and tolerate Rob's laugh when he's drinking beer for more than two hours must really love him. So I appreciate all that, and I appreciate all you guys coming. Um, you know, I'm just so happy for you two. Um, like I said, this is going to be brief um, because um, it's really just going to be about Rob and how much I love him because he's such a good dude. Um, we, the two of us met in, uh, right around 2015. We were both brand new cops uh, working for Palm Bay. And uh, what really drew us together is we both had an affinity for um, chasing cars, chasing, uh, you know, chasing bad guys completely out of policy and routinely getting in trouble which brought us to our mutual hatred for Sergeant Henschel. Um, so that really drew us together, hatred and our love for catching bad guys out of policy. We, we, spent, um, we spent years working together um, and really just grew to love each other. And we eventually ended up in the same unit. Um, but part of the problem was, well, it's not even a problem. Um, I just noticed, um, I try and, uh, Every friend I make, I try and learn something from them or retain something positive from that person. And what I've learned from Rob over the years is resiliency. Because anybody who doesn't know Rob's story, I'm sure most of you do, um, know that Rob has been through some hard times. Um, he's had, and it was kind of funny, I was listening to his vows and they kind of mirrored what I was gonna say about him was, he's been through some really difficult times. Um, you know, throughout the years since I've known him and even prior to that. And he's just always so resilient and always has a good attitude. He's always laughing, whether we're drinking beer or not, he's always got something funny to say um, and just looks out for his people and makes sure that his people are good, even when he not be good. Um, we always, all of us always knew he was too smart to be a cop. He eventually did the right thing and did something that was more fitting to his giant brain. Um, so it's, it just makes me really happy to see Rob, um, after all he's been through and all the negative hardships he's ha had to go through unjustly, I would say most of the time, um, finally get to sit here with his, his bride and get what he deserves, which is a lifelong um, dream come true and happiness. And uh, you know, we're, I know we're happy for you, all your groomsmen, everybody here. We couldn't be happy for you. Nobody deserves it more than you. Uh, to be happy and to have a happy family together. So I love you guys. And uh, on that, cheers to the couple.